Excuse me, little dog. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, now that the storm has passed, I can finally get to my regularly scheduled straight ahead chronicle of the collapse today. I, I got a little sidetracked uh, by this bizarre thing I just read out, uh, which I think was written as an April Fool's speech. But anyway, now that I've gotten that off my chest and the big blow of the day, although we're still under a tornado watch for two more hours, I can get back to uh, my regularly scheduled chronicle of the collapse here on this dreary Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. So I guess my neighbor, uh, I thought he just shot his gun off. My Trump tar neighbor would just shoot his guns on the weekends, but maybe... Uh, my neighbor has been reading up on what is going on on Haiti. Uh, the, the, this week, uh, you know, anybody wanting to understand what is going on in Haiti, my God. Is, is there anybody who does not understand what collapse looks like? And, uh, you can't even use what's going on over there in Gaza or Ukraine exactly, in, in my opinion, because what's going on in Haiti, although uh, I, I can only imagine when, when I'm getting ready to say what I'm getting ready to say, the screams of the, uh, uh, of the, of the lefties. What's going on in Haiti uh, it is pretty much, you know, self-inflicted uh, good God. And I put a big asterisk by that, but you know what I'm saying. There, there, there's not some other country uh, actively uh, bombing them and starving them and everything. That, that, that shit show going on down there in Haiti. Uh, I, I'm not going to get into the politics of it and, and, and all of that, <clears throat> but I'm going to touch on a couple of stories out of Haiti. This uh, there, There's about a hundred of them out there on the mainstream media today. Uh, this is from AP. Haiti's surge in gang violence has led more than 53,000 people to flee the capital in less than three weeks. Uh, more than 53,000 people have fled Haiti's capital in less than three weeks. The vast majority to escape unrelenting gang violence, according to the UN. Uh, more than 60% are headed to Haiti's rural southern region which worries UN officials. Uh, quote, our humanitarian colleagues emphasize that these departments, you, you know, these areas down there, these, these rural villages, do not have the sufficient infrastructure and host communities do not have sufficient resources to cope with the large number of people fleeing Port Au Prince. The southern region already hosts more than 116,000 Haitians who previously left the city, and now 53,000 more uh, he headed that way. Uh, and and uh, I, I don't blame them. Uh, you, you know? Uh, of the 53,000 people who fled between March 8th and the 27th, nearly 70% already had been forced to abandon their homes. Uh, more than 90% of Haitians leaving the capital have been crowding into buses 
risking travel through gang-controlled territory where gang rapes have been reported and gunmen have been known to open fire on public transport. Uh, there you go. Uh, and, and, and this is exactly, uh, you know, just another snapshot of, of, of what it's going to look like. It's what's going on on Haiti starts happening in cities all over uh, this planet. Uh, w what you're going to see is people fleeing uh, out of the cities, out into the, out into the boonies, which is exactly uh, one more reason not to live in the city, but to live out in the boonies already. And uh, the, the, the people out in the boonies are saying, guys, uh, don't, don't think you're coming out here. Uh, you know, we got enough to deal with. Uh, and this is going to be, uh, you're going to see that what, what's going on there play out all over. But uh, we're going to go over to see how the hill is spinning this. This is their update from Haiti uh, as of this morning. <clears throat> Haiti faces collapse of humanitarian support. What happens next is anyone's guess. The spiraling crisis in Haiti is raising fears in the United Nations and among aid groups of a complete collapse of humanitarian support for Haitians already struggling to access basic needs. <clears throat> Five humanitarian aid groups told The Hill they have serious concerns about the situation on the Caribbean island nation where gangs now control 90% of the capital city, Port-au-Prince, and whether the delivery of key supplies can be maintained for much longer. And, and you're wondering why the hell uh, that 53,000 people are stampeding out of that hell hole? <clears throat> and during meetings last week, officials at the United Nations involved in humanitarian response ex expressed concern that an even more dire situation could endanger crucial aid services. Uh, this is someone who, for obvious reasons, uh, not speaking on the record from Haiti. Uh, quote, the risk is if the crisis goes on for weeks or months, months it's going to be impossible for organizations to actually sustain the country. Everybody is extremely worried about what's going to happen. Close quote. Uh, Lawrence, I can't pronounce his last name, uh, Haiti's country director for the aid group uh, Mercy Corps said humanitarian corridors are shrinking and he agreed that it could collapse without a change in the situation. Quote, there are growing concerns that if the security is not restored soon, the little bit of aid that Haiti was getting will no longer be there. Close quote. The crisis in Haiti is testing aid workers used to working in conflict zones in disaster-stricken countries. The escalating violence uh, in the capital has created a man-made catastrophe across the island. Uh, Haiti's main port in the capital is largely closed along with the International Airport and the Dominican Republic, who shares the other side of the island, is limiting what can cross over the border into Haiti. With those 
humanitarian corridors almost completely shut down. Supplies are running extremely low as the country struggles with a worsening hunger crisis. Responders on the ground say Haiti is in the middle of its worst disaster since the 2010 earthquake that killed about 220,000 people. Um, Jean Martin Bauer uh, from the UN's World Food Program in Haiti said he wasn't sure if, quote, this can go on for very much longer. People have a hard time seeing a way out of this. It's a man-made crisis. There isn't the huh, there isn't the huh, huh. there is not the huh, hope that there was after the earthquake. So we're facing a very different type of scenario, close quote. Already in Haiti, more than five million people are at the stage three and four levels of hunger out of a population of roughly 11 million. So about um, half the country is at stage three or higher. Without urgent intervention, the most endangered people could soon enter the fifth stage, which is famine. Bauer said the available food stocks will run out by the end of April, at which point it will be crucial to reopen the airport and the seaport to maintain humanitarian supply corridors. Quote, we are facing an episode of protracted mass hunger in Haiti. What happens next is anyone's guess, but we will do everything we can. Close quote. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the ongoing violence uh, has displaced more than 362,000 people and killed thousands. Conditions have dropped off in recent months as gangs have grown in power. Um, the Prime Minister resigned three weeks ago, leaving a political vacuum that U.S. involved efforts have yet to fill, and let's hope that stays that way. Along with the risk of a shortage of food and drinking water, hospitals and medical facilities are facing the risk of shutting down from a lack of fuel, which is the other thing, is uh, fossil fuels. And, and you know, the, these things about, uh, you know, they're talking about lack of uh, humanitarian support. Whenever you read the comments on Haiti, uh, of course, this guy named, uh, named Humpty Dumpty put, said, looks like a snapshot of pretty much any city on the planet in a few decades. That's what Humpty Dumpty, all right. How about the cynic? Darwin's survival of the fittest playing out again, not only in Haiti, but also in our big cities while doing daily politics. Yes, here is Gordon. No one cares when all of the damage and destruction are being done by the people that live there. Clean up your own mess before expecting help from others. Eight thumbs up. Here is Rob. Billions of U.S. taxpayer dollars gone. Nothing to show for it in Haiti. Majority of it is stolen, and now they want more? They must be out of their minds. It's like giving an addict cash. Here is uh, Jay. This will be the entire U.S. if the government is not stopped. There you go. How about 
Here is looks like Chicago. Here is reminds me of New York. Uh, here is our government's job is to make sure that Haitians remain in Haiti. There you go. Uh, okay, here is Patriot signing in. What do you think will happen? Take our Civil War as an example. The citizens will be starved into submission and a political faction will come in, take over governments, and force their will upon them. That's the way Civil Wars usually work. Here is Esteban. I say we let the Mexicans have it. It's a nice beach resort. It can be like Cancun. And anyone who's been to Cancun recently, uh, I, I would just as soon take my chances in Port Au Prince as Cancun. Uh, uh, here, mute button. It's been a sh shithole for decades. So why is it suddenly important now? Here. Uh, stop pretending that Haiti is a failed state. Haiti has been, is now, and always will be a failed state, unless and until all the humans living there are replaced by a different group of people. The international community is just wasting their time, effort, and money. Turn over the keys to the country to barbecue. The uh, head gangster wish him well, get on a plane, and wave goodbye from 26,000 feet up. Yep. Here is... I think the world is tired of sending money to a country where the money goes missing and the people have no desire to help themselves. Here is, it needs to self-destruct now. And then finally, uh, wait, no, not finally, uh, who cares what happens next. If Haitians were of any value at all, some country would have stepped in to control the country, but as none has, they are clearly without any value at all. Here is coming to a city near you. Here is Haitians are going to have to sort this out on their own, but finally, uh, Poor Don, poor Don weighing in the middle of all of this. I love reading all of these comments that know nothing about real life. Maybe when all of us Americans have to suffer the way the Haitian population has their attitude on real life will change. Do you think so? Uh, anyway, guys, real life. Uh, what do you think, little dog? Do you want to move to Haiti? Anyway, I'm not going to complain about uh, living in the middle of Trumpville here in Florida. I guess I could be living in Haiti. Thank you trying to keep my dog from ending up in a stew pot. Bye, guys.